Hey, it's Grace, and today we're gonna open up some mystery toys. I was paying for petrol the other day, and inside the service station were a whole bunch of toys. I was a little confused, but they were very reasonably priced, so I thought I should have some, open them, maybe film it. We haven't filmed it for a long time, but it had been a long day, and I thought I deserved a treat. So I found a BFF Best Furry Friends handbag surprise for surprises inside a cute purse. And it's a silicon purse, which I will reuse. That's fantastic. There was only pink. I wish we had different colors, but I'll definitely reuse it. Like, have you ever tried looking for stuff in the abyss of your handbag and you can't find it? Hot pink, seems like a good idea. And silicon's easily washable because, uh, what's the best way to describe this? Oscar the Grouch, maybe, probably best describes my personality, I think. Uh, next we have a Baby Secrets Mer Babies Treasure Keepers. That's a lot of words. Treasure Hunt, use the map to hide and seek the treasure chest. Unlock eight jewelry items for you and your Mer Baby. That sounds cool. There's a color changing tail, uh, turns blue or pink, that's kind of cool. And uh, I'll show you all of this in a minute. I'll change camera angles, but there's the box. It's really cute. And last and smallest, but hopefully not least, is BFF, which is the same as the first one, TV show Mystery Pack. It says it has one luggage capsule, one mini pet, and one mini bag, and a collector's guide. Uh, and on the back it says, watch a TV show over 40 BFFs and bags to collect. So I don't know whether that's... I don't know. Who knows? I'm not going to collect them all. I just want to see what's inside these ones because they looked really cute and again were super affordable. So I'll change camera angles and we'll get into opening them. All right so I think I'm going to go from smallest and I think that one's bigger than that one. Is it? Which one's bigger? Oh it's really hard to tell. Oh that one might be bigger but then what about that end? Oh, I'm not sure. All right, I'm gonna make an executive decision and say like this one, this one, then this one, because this one has some color changing stuff and I need to get some water. So I guess those out of the way and we'll see if this will open properly. It looks like there's a tear thingy. Hopefully we're still in focus. I thought we'd better get in a little closer. This thing's tiny. Try the other side. Oh, nope, okay. I always have to make these things harder than they need to be. Alright, and tiny case. Come out, come out. I think all the cases look the same too. I could be wrong. Uh, uh, no. Can I tear it? I don't really want to tear it. Alright, had to cut it out. And... Oh, was that the back? That's the front. Oh, it's open a little bit, but that's okay. Doesn't stay shut very well. Maybe it will once I take the bag out of it. And can you see, is it clear? I can see pink. Okie dokie. Uh, that's kind of cute. Do you actually stay shut properly? Not really. That's a little disappointing, but I guess you won't really be taking it anywhere. It's still a little annoying. And this, all right. I don't know whether I want to ruin it, so I won't look too closely, but just in case anyone cares. There is that side. There is also that side. And I'll throw that away. And then, what have we got? It looks like a unicorn, oh my goodness. Scissors, would be helpful plastic bag is much stronger than me. That's so cute. Ah, oh, unicorn. Is that the one that was on the front? Oh, where did I put the packaging? There it is. Yes, it's one of the ones on the front. Did I have rares or anything? I probably should have looked at this list a little bit more. Oh, we'll check out the bag. Uh, can you see it? Probably not. Focus on this is really hard and lighting, so I am amazed to anyone that can set this up properly. But if you can't tell, it is a pink bag with uh, yellow dots. 
uh, brown bit in the bottom kind of looks like a basket and then I'm not sure what those patterns are supposed to be like the bottom one's a footprint I have no idea what's that little like swooshy thing can anyone tell me can you focus enough I have no idea what the swooshy thing is is it supposed to be a donut oh all right so I don't know if you can see properly but that is supposed to be a donut and the way they've shown it it looks like that it's got a hole in the middle so I guess that swooshy thing is the hole in the middle that's silly anyway is this a rare or anything no we've got a common stardust pegacorn oh I love stardust I think everyone loves David Bowie so stardust is very appropriate and it's really cute oh okay you can stay there actually you can go sit in your bag off to one side actually we'll put you all back together we'll keep you all safe you in there what were the rares magical stardust pegacorn oh which looks like that but not and is oh my gosh all four feet on the ground as opposed to up so are they all like that are they all similar to the other ones no that looks like the only sort of duplicate in amongst all the commons, jellies, and rares. Ooh, what's a jelly? Is that just mean it's see-through? All right, they're really cute. And I know I said I wasn't going to buy more, but like, that's a lot cuter than I thought it would be. So maybe I will. All right, handbag surprise. Oh, get in there. And nope, my lighting's still weird. It's still got shininess, but hopefully you can see it a bit better. If I could put it in view, maybe that's the whole thing. Okay, and the back. I should probably turn that around so you can read it. There we go. There's all the animals. They're pretty cute. I don't think they're the same as the other ones. Oh no, there's Stardust the Unicorn. I'd like Stardust the Unicorn again, actually. That's pretty cute. So there is one big BFF, one BFF accessory, one charm bracelet, one charm accessory, and the purse. Oh my gosh, tape. Can't you just glue it if you've got plastic in it already? That would be nice. It feels so squishy. It's actually like a really good purse and I can't remember how much I paid for this. I'm pretty sure it was around ten dollars so if I saw that purse I'd probably pay ten dollars for it anyway and the fact that it's got surprises in it is even better and it is a proper blind bag so I can't see what's in it yet there we go I like that and the silicone nest like on the rubber bits hopefully means it doesn't come open very easy it's very cute all right I guess I'll open the little one first oh tape why can't you just glue stuff together? All right. There's stuff stuck. That's it. Okay, at least that is recyclable. That's wonderful. So that is probably a strap for whatever's going on in there. And a microphone and headphones. I should put them up that way. There we go. They're kind of cute. I wasn't really paying attention to accessories, so I, I'm not sure who we've got. Let's find out. Ready? Uh oh. <gasps> yes, that's so exciting. Now I have a matching pair. That is so cute. Oh, the little legs you can bend. So we can get you to stand up, my friend. There we go. All right, so you are, is there a certain way these go on? Uh that way who knows all right headphones and a microphone how do you how do you hold the microphone like there's a little thingy at the bottom or is that a charm is that the charm I kind of want you to be able to use it can I hook it on your horn not really I'm kind of disappointed because that would probably be a good spot for a microphone Sort of, might want to be closer. But you know, if you're a unicorn and you don't have hands, the horn would come in handy for some things. So what's this for then? 
Oh, that's a bracelet and that's a charm bracelet. I forgot what I said before. Okay, well that just sucks. And do you even stay on there properly? Yeah, like I wouldn't really trust that. And it is probably made for people with much smaller wrists. But there we go. It's beautiful. Uh, mostly. Alright, well that can go somewhere else. But these two things are like super cute and definitely worth the money. Alright, third surprise. Oh, there's stuff all over this. Baby Secrets Mer Babies. And are you going to open? No. Yeah, mum. Oh, so close. It's like the worst spot to have that. Like, if they had it across there, it would be, like, way better. I don't know where that to put it over here. I don't know if it's going to work at all. Well, kind of. So that can go away. That is taped to the bottom. Do we need that first? It looks like a key. I think we need that first. Aha, uh -huh. start here. You could have put that like, so it was like that. <laughs> so you could read that first. And this first clue to the treasure seeker. Write down four clue locations on the back. Perforate apart the clues. Hide the second, third, and fourth clues in the correct order as indicated. Hand the first clue to the treasure seeker to be in the hunt. Oh, okay. So, like, you're supposed to set this up for your kids to find, because that's kind of cool. But, like, I'm lazy. And just hand over the key. Fabulous. Open open do you really need it to open i don't know hello no you're still locked all right nope nope oh push of course it's just push all right what's in there uh, it's not really a surprise. You can see it straight away. We have someone with a blue tail and headphones. Oh, do they match the unicorn? Yes, matching today. Very cute. And uh, there's stuff on his face or her face. I'm sorry. There's stars and like it looks like little bubbles around their eyes. Kind of cute, I guess. And I don't know whether it's hot or cold water for tail changing. I guess I'll find out in a minute. Why does it have holes in the sides of its tail? Can you open its tail? Hello? Is there stuff in your tail? I don't know why it looks like there is. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That was probably just off camera. But I was like, why are there spaces in the tail? Like it's got to like open up, do something. But whilst I was doing that, you do this. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why it does that. I guess maybe you can make it swim. I'll have to take it in the bath with me one day and find out, but that is so cool. Yeah. Okay, entertained. So the charm bracelet thing kind of looks the same as the other one. It's a little bit nicer. The charms when you come out. So I guess the necklace is for the figurine, the ring is for me, and the rest on the charm bracelet. We'll see how that goes. Alright, there's all the beautifulness. The figurine has a necklace. I have a ring. And there's all the charms. I would think that they would all fall off if you could get the bracelet to stay on you for a long period of time. I could be wrong about that, but I just can't see them staying while you're doing much at all. And kids are a lot more active than me. Hopefully they glow in the dark and there's some redemption in them. Alright, in the bottom, 
collector's guide. All the different colors. Pretty. And is that anything super exciting? I do not believe so. Some of that hair is really cool. But I think it's just one of the plain ones. Actually, I think it's the plainest one. I think we got the most boring one. Which is upsetting, but at least it matches the, what was it? Peg, pegacorn? Something like that. And then, okay, we have Reveal Your Mer Baby Secret. The very end of its tail will change. It says room temperature to warm water. I had both because I didn't know. And then you can name it and you can wind it up and help it swim. Like, I think I'll have to fill this thing so we can have a look at that. And then that's the charm bracelet and the ring. Alrighty, so time for warm water. Which side was warm water? This side. There, whoop. Baby! There we go. What color do we change? Do we change color? Is that pink? Oh yeah, sort of. I really thought you'd be able to see more of a change. Like, that's really warm water. And it said just room temperature. But there we go. Pink. And how fast does it change back? We've got cold water here. Whoa. Okay. So like, not that quickly. Well, I guess that's kind of cool. Sometimes that stuff doesn't stick around for long. And that's pink. And it's been there for like at least two minutes. So, awesome. And what's that thing at the bottom? Oh, birth certificate. There we go. Will you focus? Possibly not. Is that any better? Who knows? All right. We'll pack all this stuff up. All up, I paid $18 for these, which I think is very reasonable. The purse was 10, the mermaid was five, and this one was three. So for $3, that is super cute. Uh, for $10, like, this is really cute, but I love the purse. So, like, it's great. I think everything's adorable. The mermaid one was only $5, and it's actually, like, I don't really enjoy it, and I think I will pass it on to someone else. But the fact that the tail spins and stuff, like, for $10, that's pretty fun for a bath toy and a surprise. And the box is pretty cute, too. You can keep all your stuff in it. Uh, oh, which one's my favorite? Probably this one because I really like the unicorn and the purse. I'm definitely going to use that all the time. And I really like that today I picked three different surprises. Like I dug for this particular one. Like it was at the bottom. I'm just like, I feel, I'm feeling this one. So I'm glad like these two match and then like technically these two match. So they all go together and they're super cute. The hardest part is going to be finding room for this. Like uh, I think, I don't know. Maybe I'll just close that up and I'll just give it to a little person. And they can have the whole thing, uh, but these, like, I'll definitely rearrange my purse and put that in. But you guys, where are you going to live? I'm going to have to make some room because uh, there's not a lot of room on my bookshelves. Maybe I could pose you guys the same and that would be kind of cute. Do you stand up like that though? Not really. Ah, come on. Can we do it? No. All right. There we go, kind of same pose, but that is definitely not gonna stand up like that. So I'll figure it out. But again, super cute. And for those prices, I'd say worth the money. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.